Hello everybody, hope you're doing well today. Mark G with the C back with another video. CD update time. Um, I know my last few videos I've made a couple of contest entries, um, which is always all about supporting uh, fellow YouTube video makers. Um, and I've also done a couple of vinyl updates. So we're gonna get back to CDs. Not that I haven't been buying a bit of vinyl. Uh, to be honest, my next video is probably gonna be a vinyl update. Um, but for this one, I have got eight CDs to show you. Is it eight? Eight, yes. Let's get started. First off, from Italy, we have got Ultraviolence. I saw these guys um, supporting Jungle Rot in Manchester last uh, year. Energetic, modern thrash metal. Um, but they've got those superb old school sort of moshing breakdowns um, just those chugging sort of palm muted riffs um, yeah brilliant these guys they were so so energetic it was unbelievable proper got the um, the venue rocking ready for jungle rot um, proper mosh pit going not that I was anywhere near that I was a bit out of the way but um, it's always good to see but yeah these guys are quality this is their um, debut um, EP five tracks 2012 I've been looking for this for a while the, 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 their other albums are, are quite easy to pick up compared to this but um, I got this one I was a bit disappointed though because I don't know if you can see in the top there there's um, it's a digi pack and there's a little bit of a crack in the top of it anyway I messaged the guy I got it off and he uh, gave me a bit of a discount so I only paid a couple of quid for it but it's hard to get um, but yeah, the, the song titles do make me laugh on this because it's almost like the, the sort of, I don't know, it's almost, you know, the last one, Herpes, um, Inhuman Slaves, Frustration of Soul, they're not the most enticing of, uh, it's almost like they've kind of got lost in translation a bit maybe, you know, from um, from their native Italian. But anyway, picking, uh, picking holes in that. Yeah, superb, modern. Um, thrash metal from Italy, Ultra Islands. Next up from the UK, we have got um, Witch Sorrow and their album Hexen Hammer. Is that right? Hexen Hammer. Um, this is their fourth and most recent release. Um, superb doom metal. Um, if you like Cathedral. Um, electric Wizard, that kind of stuff. They've got that Black Sabbath vibe going on. Um, a three-piece, I think they are, from uh, Hampshire. I'm not a massive, massive fan. I love doom metal, I love death doom metal, but I'm not always a massive fan of sort of doom metal with the clean vocals. It took me a while to sort of get into candle mass back in the day. Um, Cathedral, I always loved their first album just because it was the slowest and doomiest album I'd ever heard. But anyway, over the years, I've, I've sort of listened a little bit more and, and you know, it, 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 it sunk in. I've got into it. There's, there's a lot of bands, Reverend Bazaar, um, like I say, Electric Wizard. Uh, but these guys are good. Um, the vocalist is very much sort of Lee Dorian. Um, vocal style, but yeah, it's quality, uh, quality doom. What year was this? 2018 on Candlelight and Spine Farm. But like I say, if you um, if you like all those bands that I've just mentioned, you're gonna like these guys. I've got another one of their albums, one of the earlier releases. And that's good as well. Real, um, you know, catchy, groovy, like I say, Sabbathy, doomy riffs. Which sorrow, Hex and Hammer. Next up, uh, from Germany, this band need no introduction. This is their um, sixth album, and this is Sodom. Get what you deserve. Bit of a censored cover, um, see if I can take that off. That's the one that you sort of get in the, um, the shop when you buy it. And that's the proper cover there. This is um, Sodom's first album without um, 
Chris Witch Hunter on drums, I believe. So I think Tom Angel Ripper's the only um, surviving member, and this is um, a real departure um, from their previous albums. It's really, I mean, Sodom have always had that punky sort of element to them, but this is really punky. It's really raw and you know fast paced and bass driven um, it's good I like it I'm not a massive fan of punk but you know if you mix that punk element into you know thrash and death metal um, I, I'm more you know more inclined to to like it um, but yeah it's one that I've been looking for for a while um, 1993 on the steam hammer um, I, w I certainly wouldn't advise this to anyone who's never heard Sodom before. I'd go for sort of Persecution Mania or Agent Orange or Tapping the Vein even. Um, this is one for your, your Sodom fans already. Um, but yeah, I liked it. Um, like I said, I've been after it for a while. And um, put that back in, the censored cover. Sodom, get what you deserve. Next up, and this is what's playing in the background, and I was watching a video um, from <coughs> Horse of Unreason, and he was talking about his top, I think, I'm sure it was his top 10 thrash albums, and this album popped up in his list, and I, I thought, I've never heard of them. Um, I need to check them out. And this album, it was originally released in 2000, and it is the band Hypnosia and extreme hatred uh, from Sweden now as you can imagine the year 2000 um, thrash metal th the style this band play was was nowhere to be seen especially from Sweden the bands coming out of Sweden with a sort of mellow death style that was uh, going around this is pure thrash metal for a band to be playing this in the year 2000 it's obviously why it, it just passed me by completely. It is superb. Um, it's old school thrash. It's got a real, a real European feel. It's almost got that German sta uh, sound to it. The vocalist, you know, he's got Millie Petrosa's vocal style. Uh, when he starts singing, I'll, I'll show up talking for a minute so you can hear it. But it's that real barked. It's, it's like Millie Petrosa, but with even more venom spat at you. Um, like I say, it's a 2000 release. This is a 2014 re release um, on Hammer Heart Records. Let me just um, be quiet for a minute, let you listen to it in the background. just superb it's like where has this album been all my life why have I never heard of this band I think this is their only release um, and I believe that the members a couple have gone on to be in a band called Dreadful Fate I think I think even the guitarist vocalist might have even been in um, portrait more of like a sort of traditional heavy metal band um, I think they've been involved in quite a few other bands, these guys, over the years, but um, this is just, if you're an old school German thrash metal fan, you need to wear this. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, I placed an order recently with Hammer Heart Records um, and picked up quite a bit of vinyl um, and a few CDs, and this is one of the CDs I got. And like I say, probably in my next video or two, I'll show you some of the vinyl I picked up as well. But um, yeah, Hypnosia is absolutely... So if you like Creator, you're going to like this band. Absolute quality. It's funny how some albums just fly under your radar. Uh, but like I say, it was from the year 2000, so, you know, metal was having a tough time, really, wasn't it, in those, uh, in those years. So, um, yeah, that's off to these guys for, for flying the thrash metal flag. Um, you need to wear this Hypnosia. Extreme hatred. 
So next up is a band, um, this is another CD that I got from Hammerheart Records. It was a band I was completely unaware of, another UK band. Um, and they are Raven's Creed and their album, The Power. Um, I think this is their second album. They're a UK band. Um, I kind of picked this up because, like I said, I was ordering some other stuff and I thought I'd like to look at that and it, I think it was fairly cheap. It might have only been even 2 99 So I added it to my order and it's, it's really good. Um, it's on the Dementia Records label, which I will show quite a few um, vinyl, like I say in one of my next videos. Uh, obviously Hammerheart Records don't just stock their own um, labels, you know, they're kind of a distro as well. So they've got quite a few bands on this Dementia label um, and they're all really good, it's a Czech label. Um, this is Death Thrash it's classed as, I would say it probably leans a little bit more towards Thrash um, really harsh, sort of un, uh, undecipherable vocals, which is just right up my street, as you well know. Um, and I kind of like that on the inside there. A little play on the old Slayer, um, Slatanic Wehrmacht, or Wehrmacht, however you say it is. Britannic Wehrmacht, which I liked. Um, yeah, they've they, they have definitely got a bit of a Slayer um, vibe to them, there's no doubt about it. Raven's Creed, The Power. Did I say what year that was from? 2012, Dementia. Good label, I've never heard of that label before, but I'll, um, I'll certainly be checking more of their stuff out. Like I say, I've picked up quite a bit of vinyl, so I shall show you that. Uh, another, excuse me, got an itchy nose. Um, another pick up from Hammer Heart and this is a reissue uh, of theirs recently um, and if you know me and uh, my love of this band's debut Kill to Survive this is their second album Solitary Solitude Malaya Rage from um, Boston in America like I say this is um, a reissue it's a double CD version and it has got the live kill EP um, stuck on the end. Uh, this album, uh, it's a great album. I mean, I I do love Kill to Survive. I understand um, people's sort of um, people not really quite sure about it because it did feel like a band kind of finding their feet a little bit. Uh, they kind of crossing that power metal thrash metal line. This album, this their second is, is definitely more thrash orientated. Um, Mike Munro's vocals um, are probably slightly better. Um, it's probably a better album to be honest. A more solid and, and polished album than Kill to Survive. But as with all albums, Kill to Survive's got a real soft spot um, inside for me and that's why it always will be my favourite. But yeah, if you've never heard Malaya Rage, please check them out. The two guitarists on this are just quality, absolute quality. Um, very accomplished uh, what they do. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is um, thrash metal, really. Definitely leans towards thrash metal. It's still got the elements of power metal and heavy metal in it, but um, please check it out. Malaya Rage, Solitary, Solitude. Now, I'm down to my last two, and I forgot to mention really at the start, this last, the last thing I'm going to show you is a massive grail of mine, absolutely massive. I was that excited about showing you all the other stuff I've got, I forgot to tell you. Um, I'm really looking forward to showing you the very last one. But this next one now, now this is a band completely new to me. I have recently been um, buying a few bits here and there off, off a guy off eBay and I noticed that he was, um, he was from Birkenhead uh, on the Wirral right down the road from me um, so I kind of got chatting a little bit with him um, you know through social media and it turns out he runs his own uh, record label Cavernous Records um, and he puts out you know with like a bit of a distro he sells all sorts of different uh, <coughs> excuse me <coughs> all sorts of different bands from different labels but he also puts out stuff himself 
and he was telling me about this band to check out and this is um, Altered Dead uh, their debut album self-titled and this is on the Cavernous Records label so I bought this along with um, <coughs> excuse me um, along with four vinyl and because he lives locally I said um, you know, is there any chance I could maybe pick these up from you to save on the shipping? You know, you know what postage is like. And he said, just let me know when you're in, I'll pop them round. Anyway, I was at work, but my missus was in, and he popped them round the other day. So I picked all these uh, these albums up, and like I say, and I keep saying, I'll show you the vinyl in, in one of my next videos. So yeah, he dropped them all off, and I wanted to try this out, because it's on his label, and I'm all about supporting, um, you know, young, new labels. Um, they are from America. I don't know anything about them other than they were, a, or they are a two-piece. Absolutely brilliant. I'd never heard of this band before. Altered Dead. Um, let me show you the logo because it'll kind of tell you. In fact, I'm telling you a lie about them being from America. They're from Canada. But I think you can see that logo there. And I thought straight away, kind of got that autopsy vibe. Well, this is what this band's all about. They are filthy, dirty, horrible, raw, aggressive, death metal perfection. Absolutely brilliant. Really, really good. Um, I suppose it's one of those with these, you know, the smaller labels. It, getting these bands out there for people to hear um, you know maybe my me making these videos and talking about them gets it out there but seriously if you love autopsy grave um, ace fix even it kind of all, almost reminded me even a little bit of um, dark thrones debut album soul side journey it's got some real you know like that those raw elements in that absolutely superb two-piece band as well just brilliant um, Altered Dead please check them out um, and, and also check out Cavernous Records I'll see if I can leave a link below um, he's local to me he's been doing it for a while uh, <coughs> excuse me a real nice guy um, and he's putting out some good music Altered Dead self-titled <coughs> excuse me should have brought a drink up you know I'm not professional am I you see all these other other people having a little drink every now and again to keep the um, the throat nice and wet and ears me whatever. Um, right, so this is it. That's what I'm going to show you. Um, massive Grail, absolutely made up to finally get this. Um, I have been after it for so long. It's a split CD between um, Swedish old school Swedish death metal legends and uh, a Norwegian um, band have you guessed it it is Carnage Dark Recollections and their split CD with um, Cadaver so Carnage old school death metal Swedish death metal HM2 Buzzsaw Perfection the sort of band that led up to sort of you know entombed and dismember and grave and the swedish big four just a superb superb slab of swedish death metal um and this was released on the necrosis records necrosis um was a subsidiary of earache records uh put out repulsions horrified um what else did they put out? Anyway, a few of the really early sort of earache records they put out on this label. So this is hard to find. Um, there's loads of those fucking Russian boots flying around, um, which I haven't got a massive problem with, but you know, I like to have the OG press. And anyway, this was, this was released with um, Cadaver's debut album, Hallucinating Anxiety, on the other side. Uh, well, not on the other side, after this. You can't play a CD on both sides. Well, you can, but I, I'm waffling on about fuck all really now. So, as you can see, 
the first 10 tracks are Carnage, and then the next, what, 11 to 22 are Cadaver. Cadaver are more raw, um, evil death metal. Uh, they were quite famous on their second album for introducing a double bass um, for the bass player, which is kind of weird because this album does look a, lack a little bit of bass for me, but it's really, really dirty, horrible, raw death metal. You know, Norway in the early 90s was renowned for the whole black metal scene, so for um, Cadaver to come along with playing pure... Um, old school you know death metal it's very very influenced by um kind of reminds me quite a lot of english the english early scene with carcass and bolt thrower that kind of thing um there's a cd like i say og press absolutely buzzing and if you know my channel and me you know this album um cadaver uh, carnage dark recollections uh, is one of my uh, all-time favorite albums and what I love about the spine as well, if you can see, it's got cadaver, hallucinating anxiety on one, and carnage, dark recollections on the other. Massive, massive grail in my sweaty hands. Um, yes, I don't need to tell you what I've been listening to because I've already told you, but hypnosia, please, if you're an old school thrash metal fan, check this band out. I, I just you know, just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Like I say, you've heard it in the background. Um, thanks for watching everybody. As always, thank you to all my subscribers, to you for um, taking the time to listen to me talking, showing you what new music I've got. Um, like I say, vinyl updates will be coming up because I have uh, been on a real vinyl kick recently. Um, I'm picking up some real underground old school um, death metal um yeah but until i speak to you again look after yourselves take care all the best guys